sorry for the delay in videos guys I've been really busy with work doing point shoe fittings and also I'm a makeup artist and a model as well so I've been super busy um, I've got loads of really good videos I'm going to be doing soon so stay tuned for those today I'm going to speak to you about extend bar you may have heard of it it's a kind of workout class that incorporates ballet with um, kind of like Pilates movements and uh, it strengthens like your arms and well actually it strengthens and tones the whole body it's really amazing it comes from the US originally and it came to London to dance works which is a studio uh, near Selfridges um, like near Oxford Street Bond Street area it's then branched out across the country I currently do it at Clements Place which is a gym in Leon C um, I highly recommend it if you're uh, near to Leon C then it's quite easy to get to they do extend bar a variety of times a week on different days and times so you know there's always something there to suit whatever time you're free I started extend bar probably about a month and a half ago now if you already do ballet I really recommend it as well because it really helps with core strength kind of like doing Pilates which I also do it's also great for those of you who are looking to do um, something a bit different. If, you, if you're bored of going to the gym and you fancy, you know, something a bit more kind of with variety and kind of like, you know, if you're, say, if you're already doing a spin class or you're just doing gym work, it gets a bit tedious after all. Whereas with Extend Bar, it kind of, uh, it keeps it keeps you motivated and also it keeps you uh, interested, which is important for me when I exercise. I like to know that I can always progress and you know that it's fun you know most importantly exercise does have to be fun the class lasts an hour but I think they also do longer ones um, there's all different levels and don't worry if you're new to it like or you've never done ballet in your life because there's all different levels you can work at and your instructor will help you um, you know get into your challenge zone as they call it <laughs> you start off in the center and you can have weights for the warm-up or you don't have to and when I mean weights I mean you know hand weights you uh, can select from different strengths I use the green ones which are the uh, lowest strength ones I haven't got very good upper body strength so I find it really helps me to you know improve that you start you start off in the center and you do a warm-up which you can use the weights for then you progress onto an arm exercise one so working on all the strength in the arms which can be challenging just work at your own pace when you do the warm-up it's kind of a mixture of cardio and well basically getting yourself really warmed up it's kind of like they start it with kind of a mixture of plies in second and first and they do lots of releves and then you have um, a combination of plies and releves using your arms so you use a lot of second position and first position and fifth position arms. Um, I imagine the warm-up varies in different extend bar classes depending on the instructor and what they're feeling for that day. I'm going to try and go to one in London to see what it's like too. Once you've done the warm-up you go on to the arm section so working all your arms getting the strength and it can be challenging but just remember to work at your own pace and most importantly enjoy it. <laughs> um, for those of you who have done ballet before, it will feel a bit strange because they tend to have more of a focus on softer knees. So of course we're used to pulling up and keeping straight legs, whereas with um, Extend Bar they focus more on um, a relaxed knee. Uh, unless you're doing a releve then obviously you pull up, but it's more focused on a softer knee, not so much turnout. Um, so you don't have to turn out like, you know, majorly like you're doing ballet, but I like to anyway, depending on the exercise we're doing. Um, it also focuses a lot on kind of like lunges um, but using a lot of pulses as well so you would be in like I say a kind of first or second position plie and they do a lot of pulsing whilst you're down there it's all about um, toning you know every inch of your body and ensuring you're using your core too so you're always like you know making sure you're sucking in your core um, tucking your pelvis under like you do in ballet so there are a lot of actual ballet elements in extend bar um, I don't want to go on for too long so I don't want to bore you guys but I just wanted to tell you guys about how amazing it is. Um, extend bar classes also feature the use of um, like these like balls um, which you can use uh, between your thighs and they also use them um, in the back of the knee kind of like hooked around and I'm sure there's many other ways that they use them. Um, also straps which go we put over the bar and use them for resistance which is really cool 
and we also use these bands that, that go over the knees and you can do like uh, clams with them and stuff it's really hardcore going like it really hurts but you can really fill it the next day there's also other things that they use in extend bar um, I haven't I've only been going just over a month so I can't I don't really know what else they do but if you go on YouTube and have a browse there's plenty of like videos showing you roughly you know what classes can be like um, it's really cool because it's a mixture of levels so you know you just go at your own pace it is very quick going though so you do need to have good coordination I would say I've had a friend who told me that she went before and she couldn't keep up the coordination so if you aren't so coordinated this might not be the class for you but give it a go anyway you might surprise yourself it also features elements of using mats and doing mat work so like pilates there's kind of a lot of pilates elements in it like the breathing that we use and certain um, exercises such as like one leg stretch and um, like planking i mean i find the planking part the hardest because i've got lower back problems and i'm not very strong in my back so i just stay in my own kind of zone where i know that i'm gonna be you know not actually overdo it and hurt myself it's very important to listen to yourself like you're doing ballet class if you do ballet focus on what you know you can do but also you know push yourself because you want to make the most of it at the end of the day now i would advise if you're going for the first time don't use the hand weights in the warm-up because i did on my first time and i hadn't done much um strengthening work with my arms for a long time the next day i could not actually move my arms like i was in agony now it's great to feel that pain because you want to feel that you've worked hard but i was in so much agony i actually didn't think i'd be able to make it to another extend bar class so that's a top tip there unless of course you're really fit and you've got really strong arms then go ahead and use the weights to warm up by all means but that's just my own opinion so you do a bit of mat work and then you go onto the bar and you start doing some bar exercises um, sometimes you're actually holding onto the bar and sometimes you've got the straps so you've got the resistance there again it's a mixture of kind of plies um, pulses kind of um, tendus and then you do um, there's also one where you kind of tendu then you go into an at like a full um, attitude devant uh, there's also ones where you do kind of like a curtsy, um, grand batman. There's all a massive variety of ballet moves put in there, but they're all, you know, it's not ballet at the end of the day. So you can relax a little, but um, focus mainly on the strength and actually, you know, keeping your heart rate up and working hard to get into a sweat. So then you do, it depends on the instructor you've got to. I've had two different instructors so far. Um, you will find a variety like in ballet you know when you've got different teachers you'll find everyone's got their own style and everyone likes to push certain exercises more than others so yeah once you've done some bar exercises sometimes you go back and do some more mat work on the extend bar website you can find out where you can take these classes I'm not sure there's a great deal of them in the UK yet but you can check out the list and find your nearest one I mean if you email them and try to get to see if they can make more in your area then you know the more people that email then the more they're gonna push it and get more instructors in your area so yeah if you have any questions about extend bar feel free to drop me a message and I'll help you out um, I go to Clements Place like I mentioned which is in Leon C so if you're in Essex and you're quite close to Lee then I highly recommend it they do a variety of classes um, like I think they do Mondays Wednesdays Thursdays Fridays and Saturdays I do believe they do um, kind of I think there's yeah there's morning a couple um, Wednesday afternoons there's like an afternoon one and there's also well the others are evening based you do need to book in because it is very popular so you need to give them a call or email them I'll link them in the description box below so you can check them out please subscribe to my channel and I'll be back with more videos soon thanks bye